The James Webb Space Telescope receives a double award for the most powerful and expensive telescope in the history of mankind. However, it is already justifying its huge price by providing stunning images of deep space that we could never have. It's been almost a year since James. The Webb Space Telescope sent back its first image after he started working at full strength on the 20th of July, 2022. Since then he has regularly sent back a lot of stunning images. The main purpose of the telescope is to help scientists learn more about the origin of the universe by looking at the first galaxies formed in the early universe. So what has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered, and are we any closer to understanding the universe and our origin? Get ready to find out and look at the incredible images he took including objects in our own solar system that you've never seen them before. Greetings to everyone on the Spaced Op channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We try very hard on every video and appreciate your support. Well, I wish you a pleasant viewing. The main goal of the James Webb Space Telescope is to look into the past and discover the earliest galaxies formed after the Big Bang. The first image obtained with the help of a telescope is the farthest that humanity has ever seen. A clear image in the near-infrared revealed weak structures in extremely distant galaxies, which gives us the most complete picture of them. The most detailed view of the early universe that we have ever seen is an image in infrared light. As light spreads further and further, it spreads into the infrared part of the visible spectrum the part that people cannot see with a telescope. To the naked eye, this light is called redshift, and astronomers measure how stretched the light is, and this indicates the age of the object. The light comes from a higher redshift, which means that the light has traveled a greater distance, and a smaller redshift means that the object is closer to us. The James Webb Telescope can actually see the past 13 and a half billion years ago Astronomers have determined that the age of the universe is about 13.7 billion years, which suggests that a space telescope may not be able to capture everything from the moment after the Big Bang. Shortly after the telescope started working and started sending back images, astronomers discovered something completely unexpected, six massive galaxies that existed somewhere 600 million years after the Big Bang. The amazing thing is that the objects are much more massive than anyone expected. The researchers expected to find small young galaxies, but the real surprise is that the galaxies discovered by astronomers are as developed and mature as our own Milky Way. These galaxies are so massive that they are compatible with hundreds of galaxies that we are used to seeing. The big question is how these galaxies got so big so quickly after the Big Bang. Researchers are still trying to figure it out. This discovery actually creates problems for science and calls into question the whole picture of early galaxies. But the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered much more than just ancient galaxies, something terrifying and sinister. Powerful cameras on board the Space Observatory, worth more than $10 billion, have detected something that no one could have imagined. The strangest known black hole in the entire universe is a supermassive black hole that is 10 million times heavier than our solar system. There is a space object in the center of the galaxy, which was formed just 570 million years after the origin of the universe. Researchers say that there must be many such giant black holes hiding there, because light travels at a fixed speed in the vacuum of space. The deeper astronomers look into the universe, the more distant light they intercept, and, consequently, the further in time they see. And so, what is the oldest galaxy and what actually lies at the edge of the observable universe? One of the galaxies that the James Webb Telescope was able to detect was formed at an early stage of the universe just 235 million years after the Big Bang, which makes it the oldest known galaxy. Such a galaxy was called Kier 93316. You might look at this image and say it doesn't look that incredible, but keep in mind that it's an astounding 35 billion light years away. This is just one of six ancient galaxies that are currently being studied. 
the Webb telescope also takes pictures of closer galaxies. If, for example, you look at the image from the Hubble telescope, you will notice that there are much fewer stars and galaxies visible compared to the image with the James Webb Telescope. The Space Telescope also captured curved galaxies in deep space. The observatory was aimed at a cluster of galaxies that are about 6.3 billion light years away from us. This cluster has such a large weight of stars and planets that it literally bends space and the curved area distorts and magnifies massive objects in the distance. Astronomers call this gravitational lensing, and the telescope has captured an excellent example of this effect. More recently, the Webb Space Telescope captured something else incredible. This image shows a huge star-shaped object with a bright white core and six orange spikes. In fact, we see here two galaxies called ARC 2020, which are located at a distance of 250 million light years, actually collide and merge. The light you see in the image shines as brightly as one trillion suns. Even our own Milky Way galaxy with all its stars shines only 10 billion times brighter than the sun. Such a huge luminosity was formed about 700 million years ago, causing a powerful explosion of new stars due to the collision of two galaxies. By the way, the same thing will happen with the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, which is rushing towards us right now at a speed of about 250,000 miles per hour. But don't worry, it won't reach us in the next 4 billion years. Since we touched on the topic of our own neighborhood, the James Webb Telescope has taken some incredible pictures of objects in our own solar system. In August 2022, he reported that his infrared gaze was directed at the planet Jupiter, and what he sent back was a ghostly image of a gas giant in the infrared range. Several beautiful images of Jupiter show details that Hubble just can't make out. You can even make out a faint ring around the planet with brightly glowing auroras. To demonstrate its incredible image power, the space telescope turned its gaze to the outer part of the solar system. With the help of a near-infrared camera, the icy planet Neptune was captured, and what surprised everyone was the rings of dust around the planet. But that's not all. Following the image of Neptune published in 2020 by James Webb, a space telescope has captured what could be the clearest image of Uranus ever taken. In an enlarged image, you can see 11 of the 13 known rings around the planet, as well as the northern part of the planet. For those who are not familiar with Uranus, the ice giant is located 3 billion kilometers from the Sun and is unique in that it rotates on its side at an angle of 90 degrees to the plane of its orbit. The main purpose of the James Webb Telescope is not just incredibly beautiful images. The telescope can provide a huge mirror and precise instruments that have also been developed to search for atmospheres on distant planets. It has been said that if we discover another planet with life or some type of civilization, then this will be the easiest way to look at the planet's atmosphere. The first target for testing the instruments was the planet WASP-96b, which is one of 5,000 confirmed exoplanets located in the Milky Way galaxy. The planet is located at a distance of 1,150 light years from us in the constellation Phoenix. The mass is less than half the mass of Jupiter, and the diameter is one hole, two-tenths of a time larger. The planet orbits extremely close to its star, only twice the distance between Mercury and the Sun, and has a surface temperature of 537 degrees Celsius. In addition, the telescope showed what the atmosphere of WASP-B consists of. The observatory does this by measuring the light curve passing through the planet's atmosphere from its host star. The transmission spectrum showed an unambiguous signature of water, signs of haze, and evidence of clouds that were thought to exist on a hot planet. Based on previous observations, the Webb telescope has not detected any signs of biology but water is a key ingredient for life, so anything is possible. The telescope has discovered a planet 99 times the size of Earth, which orbits a small red star called Os 475b. It's about 40 light years away from us. Now that the telescope finds more planets, 
combined with the ability to test the atmosphere of these planets. Some researchers think we are closer than ever to discovering life for even another civilization on a distant planet. By staying on this channel, you won't miss any new discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope or any other. Be sure to stay tuned here. Thanks for watching.